come back, my dear goddesses. Thank you so much for being here and listening and watching my videos. Today I want to talk to you about so much and so much to talk about of being a woman. Being a woman, this is... We, we talk about road of tears and pain but also beauty and pearls and gold and and homes and children being a woman this is a labor this is a blood and pain and tears and life for women is very hard we are so full of love but but still, this is so hard and painful to be a woman, to be a real woman. This isn't easy. If you are not beautiful, then, then it's pain. Then when you are beautiful, then it's pain. So what can we goddesses do? When we need help, when our heart is in pain, and there's nothing we can do then we must go in peaceful place or be alone when you're alone in bathroom or toilet room be alone for woman and mother is a luxury because everybody wants something from you from your body from your soul from your mind to nourish and help and then comes a problem when you need help, when you have tears to share, when you have pain, and when you, your soul is so sad that you could go mad. What we can do then? Where we go then? Then we go like old Estonians to the woods, we talk to the weeping willow, we talk to the birch tree, and we, when we need to be strong, we finish our road tallest and strongest tree in the woods, in the forest, wherever you are, my dear chorus, it, it has to be very thick and very tall and very, very, very old, uh, ancient old, and in there you speak God. First of all, you have to calm yourself and your mind. You find yourself, when you have tears, what you cannot share, then you go to the woods. You talk to the trees and moon and stars and, and the sun. I would recommend you to pray. Like a prayer for experiencing love in your life. Dear God and the angels of love, I ask for you help so that my heart can be opened and I would be ready to receive and give out love. I'm ready to let go from within me all the blockings, negative thoughts and patterns that have pre prevented me from experiencing the blessing of a great love. Let it be so because I wish this. Amen. And I would do it two times. Dear God and angels of love, I ask for your help so that my heart can be opened and I will be ready to receive and give out love. I'm ready to let go from within me all the blockings, negative thoughts and patterns that have prevented me from experiencing the blessings of great love. Let it be so, because I wish this. Amen. Dear God and angels of love, I ask for your help so that my heart can be opened and I will be ready to receive and give out love. I'm ready to let go from within me all the blockings, negative thoughts and patterns that have prevented me from experiencing the blessing of a great love. Let it be so because I wish this. Amen. There's so much sadness in me 
and in every woman it's not possible to talk to God because we are so sad and everything isn't going the right way what we want what we need what God is needs pleasure and good things in life and harmony and love above all love that's why we pray oh god dear god how to live a harmonious life i would say this pray i don't know it's the right words because in my own language what i hold it pray to lord for this prayer but in estonian words and they get to me Because always the prayer has to be so that you understand every single word of it. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed by your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread and forgive us our debts. As we also have forgiven our debtors. I always say like when I... Read this, forgive me, all I have heard in my life, all I have, my debts, my karma, who I have done bad in this or the other lives, forgive me, and I forgive you, I try, I have so much fear and doubt and madness in my I cannot forgive you! So, my dear goddess, you see, I ask forgiveness and I'm humble, but I don't want to give forgiveness to others. Because it's harder. And of course, I don't lead us into temptation and put but deliver us from evil. Save us. And I will talk to you about this evil one day, but not today. And I will talk to you about these temptations, but not today. But today I want to talk to you about perfect day again. But first, I'm so sad. I want to forgive those who have hurt me and has forgiveness for those who I have hurt. Oh, and this one comes, the purity of your mind and soul. These are not just words. My heart starts to bleed when I think of the sadness I have made. And yes, you have made. If you come to see me that you are all good, then you're wrong because sometimes you do bad things for people you don't even know. You look them badly when they are tired and this is enough for them. You do something and this is enough for them. You don't know when you do bad from people, but you know when you do this with your tension, of course. Dear God, please help me. Dear child, what are you worried about? What troubles your heart so you can't walk around the world with joy? What do you wish to know? What will help you in your life path? Dear God, I would like to ask how to live a harmonious life. And God answered, and in some aspects, he asked the angels of certain areas to explain it more clearly. More clearly. First, 
first of all, my dear child, live. Witness that you are alive, you live. The greatest life meaning you have been looking for and are looking is to live, to be alive in every moment and every minute that you are on this planet Earth and the entire universe. Dear child, live every minute regardless of where you are or what you do. Be whoever you want in your heart and want to be in your heart and do whatever you wish to do. Remove all obstacles from your path, just like a heavy coat from your shoulders and live, live your life in the most beautiful and purest sense of this meaning. Live with everything that you feel, wish and desire. Let yourself to be and live. You have come to hurt earth to learn and experience you you yourself choose what kind of experiences and lessons you need in your lifetime choose them carefully and consciously each choice brings you to a specific path with certain circumstances but you can change in any time change the course choose a path and be yourself be the one who you are and then my dear breathe First of all, my dear child, acknowledge that you live and that you are alive. Then take your first breath. Breathe, my beloved. Breathe deeply and calmly. The breath is life. Joy. Then, my dear child, rejoice over your life. Laugh and smile, you live. A wonderful day full of magical experiences wait for you. No matter where you are, you can choose how you feel. Find joy and laughter from every moment. Sometimes you have to look a bit more, but there's something to enjoy in every moment. Beauty. Dear child, look at how much beauty is around you and how much beauty you are able to create. There is a beauty in all that I have created. There is beauty in all that I have created and there is beauty in all that you create. Beauty is one of the most important energies in your life. See and create it, my dear child. Movement. Then, my dear child, be active and move. Movement is the basics of life. Every creature here on earth is created to move around. Everything on earth is all always in movement and changing, staying stationary equals to death. The same way the body dies when it stops moving. If you end your movement with your own will, your body will slowly die. My dear child, refresh, refresh yourself with water. Water is the source of your life and the essential ingredient you need. The human body cannot exist without water. In fact, everything here on earth consists of water. The water element is everywhere. When you are in your mother's womb, you are in water. After you come out of, if you will be washed with water. 
The body needs to be washed with water every day. Water refreshes your body, soul and spirit. Sun Then my darling, go outside and welcome the sun. The sun gives you strength and energy to work on earth. Let yourself to be harassed by the sun's loving gradation. Love, sun, and be on the sun. Sun gives life everything in this world. Then, my sweetheart, take one refreshing meal, allowing yourself to have only the best and enjoy it with all of your soul. Your body is composed of all the substance substances that are found in this planet earth when you are active and more move around think smile and feel sad your body uses the substances to achieve the perfect balance again you need to give all of this your organism by eating the food that contains the needed substances help to restore the balance of it there is understanding in the world that you receive energy from the food. In fact, the most amount of energy comes from the sun, air, water and love and faith. Nutrients are essential for maintaining the body's material balance. Food is in fact a wonderful part of your body and is also intended to feel your soul through pleasure, feed your soul through pleasure, like bleeding material. Love. My dear child, we have reached so far that now it's perfect time to talk about love. You were born in this world feeling that you are alive, then you made your first breath, you moved, you experienced light, you were washed and placed on your mother's breast to eat. Every morning, my darling, you do this all over again. You wake up, you acknowledge that you are alive and then breathe deeply. Then you move around and eat something. But before you look out to someone's loving eyes, you see your mother who has brought you into this world, who has helped you to come here. You see the people who are beside you with whom you share your life. Humans need love to survive. It, it emanates from the it, it then emanates from the eyes of another living entire entity without love comes from other people's eyes without it a human soul would perish the, the world remain only a robot that keeps the body alive love gives you joy and meaning to everything can you look at yourself with the same loving eyes my dear allow to you love yourself do not forsake this happiness for yourself and my dear child, remember who you are and where you come from. Recall the size of your soul. Become one with your soul, body and spirit. My dearest, you are wonderful. You are my child. You are my creation and part of everything. You are my sincere love and my love is always with you. I'm always with you and part of me is always with you. As you are part of the children you have created on the earth. I am with you and you can talk to me every time you silence your mind and don't forbid yourself to listen to me. I am always with you and help you on your path. I will not go suffering to you, but sometimes you have chosen a harder path for you to learn and experience. If you don't remember the reason why you are there and why something happens, you may feel that you have been wrong and that you are left alone. But my dearest, you are never alone and never without love. I am with you and there is also the beings created by me who will always help you on your way. Everyone makes a contribution to help you. You might ask why they are not always visible, but I will tell you, my beautiful child, 
that I don't doubt your power for mo movement and therefore I will leave you free will to decide on everything. You choose and direct your life just as you want it because you are my creation and mighty like me. Everything around you is ready to help you in your work. Whenever you think of something and do it, you are creating the universe. Your word is the law of the universe. It is your decision what will you create. You can ask or help everyone and everything on your way. Other souls have free will as well and you have to reach an agreement with me, them. Everything that I've created to help you has the ability for you, you that if you only ask. They are not instructed to intervene unless you ask for it. They respect your decision to make it on your own. But if you don't know who you are and where you come from, ask the angels to help you to remember that the size of your soul and purpose of your life on this earth and generally infantility as an internal soul. Your guardian angels is always with you in, your, in all your moments, minutes and hours. He protects you or she, she or he protects you, helps you and supports you and keeps the reminder of your life path and the size of your soul. In addition, he showers you with unconditional love and this is it for today, my dear goddesses. And if you like to support my channel, please like and subscribe and uh, you can buy this book Angels of Our Time, Melatia Seraf, uh, in Amazon, from paperback or candle. And please leave your review to Amazon and please come back here to discuss about it in the comments below. Because I can't wait. I read every single one in here and in Amazon. And yes, please leave your comment and let's talk about let's talk about this subject and I can be helpful for you with my knowledge. And also I really really like to see you again. And let's be together on this goddess road. Thank you for watching and wish you very very happy life and happy day and happy nights <laughs> bye goddesses